<laughs> it is cold outside. Woo. Yes, it does get your attention, does it not? <laughs> the holiday favorite jewels of the season has returned to the Timken Museum. Allie Wagner's live in Balboa Park with more details. Good morning to you, Allie. That was his museum voice. <laughs> Lauren, I... I know you love the heat, and I just want to say welcome to my world <laughs> when you're outside and freezing. Yes, um, but hey, now I'm inside and enjoying the um, lovely jewels here at the Timken. This is really an event that a lot of people mark on their calendar, and I have Megan here, I have Caroline here, and I have John who is here. And at first, just tell me, you guys are back open. You just opened in June after a big renovation. And now it's jewels of the holiday season. This is our favorite time of year. Obviously, the jewels are so beautiful. People are asking year-round about the jewels. When are they going to be installed? And because we are closed for so long, not just the pandemic, but also our renovation, we weren't able to bring them back in purpose, uh, uh, in person. But we did have them on display uh, at the San Diego Model Railroad Museum for some time during the closure. And now we have them here. We are open Today until 2 o'clock, close tomorrow, open Friday and Saturday for the public to come in and see this beautiful installation. Yeah, and so tell me, uh, for people who don't know, a little bit about the history of the ornament. So the ornaments have actually been on the Timken tree for over 30 years. And when I joined the Timken seven years ago, it was the first time I saw the jewels, and I said, these are spectacular. Uh, how many of these do we have? We had almost 2,000, and the tree could only hold about three or 400. Yeah. So so we quickly did a very quick installation that year of our own, and the next year we had a whole year to plan. We reached out to San Diego State University and asked if the theater, television, and film department would like to partner with us. They sent over a team of graduate students, one of them still here today, Caroline, next to me, and they actually designed fabricated and installed the installation that was six years ago. The partnership stands today, and we added the Model Railroad Museum to the partnership along the way and have a beautiful train under the tree this year. Oh, and so, Caroline, I want to start with you. Tell me, for you, what is it about being able to design this and work with the ornaments that you enjoy? I, I'm not really a Christmas person, which sounds maybe a little weird, but there's something about the ornaments that makes me feel festive. And I love this time of year and being back in the museum that allows me to really be creative, but also know, serves a purpose. And it, I feel like I'm helping out the museum and I feel like I'm serving San Diego by bringing these ornaments to life and highlighting them. It's a bit of San Diego history that I think everybody needs to know about. Yeah, and I mean, they are so, uh, they're beautiful handmade. So for people who have never seen them before, I mean, you get to look at them up close. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, they really are a labor of love. They are beautiful. Yeah, they're, each one is so delicate, and it's everything is hand-done, custom-made. There's no glue. Everything is being held together by pins and hopes and dreams. Um, so if they're not displayed a certain way and displayed very carefully, they're not going to last for more people to see. So there's a, a huge element there of also taking care of them and some maintenance that happens as well, which is, you know, delightful to be part of. Yeah, and John, for you, I mean, the tree is not complete, Unless you have the train below it. Believe me, my son loves when you have the train below it. So tell me about the one that you chose for this year. Well, this particular train is a G-scale layout or a G-scale train. It's made by LGB. And uh, this particular train has been part of the display that we've had here over several years with the, uh, with the uh, Timken Museum. Yeah, it was really cool. And so people can come. You guys will have these up. So obviously this uh, few ne few days is going to be busy, but you'll have it up for quite a while, right? We will. And the one thing I need to mention is that the Timken is always free. So people can come here, experience this wonderful holiday tradition, and it's free. We're free year-round, and we're open Wednesday through Sunday. Typically, obviously, this week we have a holiday schedule. The ornaments will be up through December 31st. Okay, so great opportunity to come check it out today until 2 o'clock, Friday, Saturday as well. And then you can continue to come through the holiday season, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite things that they do here at the Timken. Back over to you. It certainly is beautiful. Sure is. Did you pick a favorite? Oh, gosh. Well, that Mickey one's pretty cute right there. Is there an Ozzy Osbourne one? <laughs> That's what we have on our tree. <laughs> yeah, I haven't found that one yet, okay. Paul. I'll keep looking. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, it's mini. I love it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Wow. Thanks, Sally.